What's going on my YouTube ninjas? Today we are going to be reviewing the SH Figures Ichigo Kurosaki Tensan Sangetsu from the new Bleach anime Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. So this is his new newer outfits instead of his older one. Huge thanks to my brother for getting this for me for my birthday, which was back in July, but it didn't come to America till September. That's when it released in America. Now where did my brother get this? Well, he got this at www.babygatoystore.com. I will leave a link in the description below for you to get your own. Now, onto the box. So here we got the front of the box. Looking very nice, we got the Tamashi Nation's quality sticker here. Ichigo Kurosaki, Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, Tamashi Nation's Bandai, Bandai Namco. So, and here he is looking pretty cool. And here we got at the top of the box as he figure it's Ichigo Kurosaki. Here's one side of the box with him being posed. Very cool. Here's another side with a, a pretty cool picture of him there. Here's the back of the box to get him into some poses with his accessories. And here's the bottom of the box. Very nice. Now let's get this thing open. And here he is out of the packaging. Let's get this little plastic off of him. Well, that happened. Now here he is out of the packaging and I guess he right out the box he does look like Ichigo. He has a very cool looking stern face and his hair is a very sharp and spiky and orange. Pretty accurate to him. He's, and he's got these straps on the back of his neck. I don't know why I don't... I don't know that much about Bleach I'm going to be honest. I've seen the first season of the new Bleach and I'm catching up with the old bleach so yeah he's got a pretty cool looking outfit here he's wearing gloves with a nice design little white belt with a bow tie wrapped around in the middle very cool and very soft cloak so it won't get in the way of articulation which is nice and it looks cool being all jagged in the bow. So yeah, this is like his new Soul Reaper outfit. His pants are nicely sculpted and baggy. Well, not really baggy. They're more like... I guess it's the way they designed it. Um, it it's sculpted all throughout it, which looks really nice. And it's very wide. But I'm sure it'll be good for articulation. Or that's just the way it's designed. Like, it, it looks sleek. When it's straight, it looks nice and sleek and uniformed. Which, I guess, that's the idea of a Soul Reaper uniform. I mean, a lot of blacks and some whites. And then the bottom of his feet, not much going on. Nicely painted sandals. But yeah, this looks like a pretty good looking Ichigo figure. So, let's get into his accessories. So, for his accessories, of course, he comes with a stern face and... His hands, of course, we already took a look at. Next, we got a yelling screen face. Focus. Now we get a yelling screen face for when he's powering his soul, his spear, his spear pressure, or when he's yelling Ban Kai. Very nicely detailed. We get a shocked, concerned face. The while looking off to the side. It's like, probably saying, uh, how's this person faster than me? Damn you, Biakuya Kuchki. Being faster than me. What? <laughs> 
focus. There we go, looking very nice. A uh, concerned looking face. And we got another face with a soul smirk. So yeah, we got Ichigo smirking. Like, yeah, he knows he's gonna beat whichever opponent he faces. Yeah, confident Ichigo. And lastly, we get a uh, angry teeth gray face. Which looks really nice. And next we got a pair of posing hands, open style posing hands. Which looks, which they look pretty nicely painted, nicely sculpted. And we got a pair of relaxed hands. Again, nicely painted and sculpted. And lastly, we got a pair of sword gripping hands. They got a hole in the middle there. Nicely sculpted and painted. And those sword gripping hands are, of course, for his Sanpakuto, the Bankai version of his Sanpakuto. And it is really long. It's really long. It's got it's nicely black. It's got three sharp points on top. It's got a questionable cross guard, but cool looking cross guard nonetheless. Although it's a little bit weird. Nice handle with black and red. Focus. A very nice looking handle. And we get a metal ring with a real chain. And the way you get in is simple. You just take the one of the gripping hands. Feed the chain through it. And there you go, you got the, the you got him gripping this or well kind of you just pop the hand off. And you pop the hand on and there you go you got Ichigo with his sword as simple as that and the way you switch the faces is also pretty standard you just take the face like this pull off take the hair off with the face pull off the face put another face you want in the hair And you put the hair in the face on the head. And there you go. That's how you switch out his face. Now let's get into his articulation. We're going to start up and work our way down. So for articulation, he could look up. Not very much. I mean, he could look up a little bit. He could look down a lot with include with the neck movement. He could look down like and it looks like he's eating his own chin. So that's some great neck movement there. Side to side. He could do a little bit of side to side movements. Pretty good. Arms can go up about this much. More or less. They could go around. They could go forward this much. They could go up. They could go back. All the way. 
arms out, bicep swivel, double joint hip elbows that bend back all the way, wrist swivel, and wrist hinge, of course. Next for ab crunch, you could go forward, not that much, a little bit, you could go back quite a good amount, very nice for ab crunch, not much forward. But pretty far back, side to side, pretty standard, all right. His legs can go forward about this much. They can't go back because his pants, the back of his pants hits against his butt. But they could go back about that much. Single jointed knees. Which, I mean, for this design, I guess that makes sense, single joint and knees. And they sculpted some lines underneath, so it looks like a continuous design, though not really. But, alright. Single joint and knees. Ankle articulation. Ankle swivel. Ankle hinge. Ankle rocker. Of, and of course, toe hinge. Very nice. So yeah, he is a pretty well articulated figure. You could get him into some pretty cool Ichigo-like poses from some of your favorite scenes. Hold on, now let's move on to final thoughts. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Wait, let me stand him up straight. Focus. Alright. So overall, I give this figure a solid 10 out of 10. I don't see any flaws with it. It moves great. It has enough accessories for what it is. Great articulation, amazing paint detail, no mistakes anywhere. And overall, this is a great figure. 10 out of 10, and I recommend anyone who is a fan of Bleach to get it. I got this at BigBadToyStore.com. I will leave a link in the description below. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like, comment down below what you think, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.